Vajanasmas, Vajanasmas, Vajanasmas. I don't like it. I avoid. But <laughs> Hello everyone, welcome to another video. My name is Dr. Sarakshit Bhatina. I am an endoscopic surgeon, a fertility expert and a cosmetic gynecologist. And today we are going to talk about Vajanasmas. Vaginismus is the painful contraction of all the pelvic floor muscles which are around the vagina in an anticipation of a penetration. And this might not always be sexual in nature. It can also be because of an insertion of a simple tampon or a menstrual cup. And nowadays a lot of women are understanding that they have vaginismus because they are trying to insert the vaginal cup and they are not able to do it. So the moment there might be a potential insertion or even a slight light insertion, the muscles around the vagina contract and it is going to cause a lot of severe stabbing pain in this area and this pain generates a lot of anxiety and misery in the woman and this again translates into fear and this becomes a vicious cycle. Vaginismus causes a lot of depression in the woman. She feels very isolated, very secluded and she might also feel that she is the only one who is suffering from all of these issues. But trust me, there are a lot of women who are seeking treatment for this particular issue. So I would encourage you to do the same as well. Because the longer you prolong it, it is going to cause a lot of relationship issues for you and your significant other. Vaginismus is of two types. The primary where the patient has never had a sexual intercourse and secondary where the woman had a sexual intercourse before but because of some other pathology, she is not able to have it anymore. Now the exact reason of why vaginismus occurs is still unknown but there is definitely a psychological and an anatomical aspect to it. Many people think that the reason why people have vaginismus is because of some childhood trauma but it could also be because of the woman's own belief system or because of some underlying pathology. Ever since the first time I put the video on vaginismus, if you have not checked it out, go ahead and click the link which pops out here. We've had a lot of patients who have been seeking treatment for this particular condition and what we have found is that most of these women are very anxious and fearful and the good thing about fear is that it can be overcome. The very first step is to get out of your comfort zone and go seek treatment because you're not alone in this. There are a lot of women who are suffering from the same condition and what they've all said is the very same thing. If I had known about this treatment, I would have pursued it much earlier. Of course, treatment is going to be a multidisciplinary approach from the psychosexual consultant, the counsellor as well as the gynecologist. If I had to compress the whole treatment cycle into a nutshell, it is going to be this. Be mindful, stay relaxed, trust the process and keep training your pelvis. So as gynecologists, we are going to help the woman perform Kegels exercises and make sure she's also compliant with that. If there is no compliance, we'll make the woman sit on the Kegels chair, which is a wonderful device, which is going to work the pelvis around 12,000 Kegels within 28 minutes. So if you want to know more information about that, do check the caption down below. The only reason why I'm not talking about Botox, because so much about vaginismus is having to do with the mind than the anatomical aspect itself. In situ situations where the woman is really not trying her level best to try to overcome vaginismus, there is no point in us injecting Botox because after 6 months down the line, she is going to have a relapse of the condition because the effect of the botulinum toxin is gone by then. It's all about training the mind to be okay about penetration. Some things what I have found which have really helped the woman overcome vaginismus is having an idea about their own anatomy because a lot of these women have never seen how it is down there and also experimenting with things like sensate focus, acupuncture, um, sex toys and many other things. So I had a patient once who said that she would rather become a nun than keep continuing treatment because it was so stressful on her mind. And for women like this, I always say stay out of your comfort zone, keep trying and trust the process. Do remember vaginismus is treatable provided that you give it the time and everyone in the world wants a quick fix but unfortunately for vaginismus there isn't one. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you got some information out of this video. If you did, go ahead, leave a like, leave a thumbs up on this video. And if you want more information on Vaginismus, feel free to uh, message us. We're always here to help you out. And until the next one, guys, see you and have a great day.